Hey y'all, so I'm on a roll with these natural hair videos though. <laughs> I just filmed this very Diana Ross-esque, loose and wavy Bantu knot out. Um, if you want a more defined Bantu knot, then you might want to make your section smaller. But this is the look I was going for. And um, it's very big and loose and wavy, moisturized, and I love it. Also, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all of my videos. And without further ado, if you like to see how I get these results, please keep watching. Bye. So you need a wide tooth comb, some grapeseed oil, and some hair mousse. So I start out by unraveling my hair. Um, I pre-washed my hair the night before and I let it air dry. And so I'm taking out those sections. Then I'm going to use the wide tooth comb to part my hair where I want it to lay. And I decided to do a side part. And once I do that, I will start to section my hair. And I wanted to do chunky sections so that I can get big voluminous waves. So now I'm taking a wide tooth comb and I'm detangling my hair. And this is so that I can take out my curl pattern so that my hair would be the Bantu knot curl pattern, if that makes sense. Um, another way you can get these type of results is if you blow dry your hair, but I forgot to get my blow dryer, so a comb is what I had to use. And then you apply your mousse. I use two pumps, and after I apply my mousse, then I apply the grapeseed oil on top. Then I split the section in half, and I twisted it up. And as I twist, I'm smoothing it down. also applied more mousse to my ends. Now it's time for the Bantu knot. So I'm twisting my twist against itself and I start to roll it onto itself. And every time I roll it onto itself, I go under what I just wrapped around, as you can see. And you continue to do it until your hair stays. So I'm gonna continue to section my hair off and this is me sectioning off the middle so that I can have, so that I won't have, um a part right there. So I'm just sectioning that part off and then I'm going to continue to detangle, apply mousse, apply grapeseed oil, twist, and then benching up my hair all over. While editing, I realized that I like to rock when I do my hair, so <laughs> y'all bear with me. <laughs> Thumbs up if you like this video so far. Finally, y'all, the last section. <laughs> so as you can see, I did six Bantu knots. Um, like I said before, if you want a more defined look, then you might want to do smaller sections, but this is the look I was going for. So now that I'm on my last one, I'm going to repeat the same steps, which is detangle, apply the mousse, apply the grapeseed oil, twist, and then wrap my hair around itself to create a Bantu knot.
Now that I'm all done, then I will put on my satin bonnet. And um, I took my nap for about three hours, so I'm sure if I would have left my hair... So this is three hours later, and I'm sure if I would have left it in longer, then it probably would have been more defined, but this is just what I had to work with. So I am untwisting my hair. I'm turning it the opposite way that I wrapped it around, and then I'm untwisting it and separating. And as I separate, I, be, I am gentle and I am fluffing it. Now I'm taking my Eco Styler Gel to smooth down my edges. And then I'm taking my edge control to make sure my edges stay slick. And I'm using my board bristle brush to smooth it and my toothbrush to slick down my baby hairs. And I just continue to fluff and then you're all set. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.